Yo, what's going on, Epic7? I'm Sue, and this is my beginner's guide to Abyss Floor 96. Floor 96 will have you squaring off against Green Bologna, who has two unique passives. Number one is Elegance. She gets 50% combat readiness whenever you use a non-attack skill. Essentially, if you use non-attack skills like Tamarin's skills, for example, the fight gets significantly harder. And then number two here is Mystery of the Abyss. If she takes more than 20% of her max health at a single strike, she'll heal back 15% of her max health. Additionally, blue units have their attack reduced, and if you hit her with a blue unit at all, it charges her ultimate. So you don't want to bring blue units whatsoever. That's something that we just want to avoid outright. As for what I'm playing, here is the entirely free-to-play connections team that we used in the previous videos. Uh, it works super well here. But it is not exactly a perfect solution, so I'll suggest some better units if you happen to have access to them. First up, let's talk about Adventure Raz. The best knight, the best tank in all of Abyss. I've mentioned it a ton. Get used to it. If you're watching this video and you're using other knights in the place of them, like Brieg or like Red Lilius, please stop using them. Get Adventure Raz Start leveling him because I promise you for almost every single Abyss video that I make from here all the way to the end of this series, you will be using this character and his stat line will be looking something like what you see here on your screen. So yeah, get in the habit of getting him early. Start leveling his skills if you can. Level up his skill tree if you can. Five stars. Five star Awoken is fine, right? Level 55 star Awoken. Eventually... Level 66 star Woken. He's the best tank in Epic 7 for PvE content. For our healer, we're going to use the best healer in all of PvE content for Epic 7 in Tamarin. Tamarin is not the optimal choice for this floor. She's just the one that I know everybody watching this video has access to because of the connections. She has a ton of non-attack skills, which will make this fight a little bit harder, right? Ideally, the optimal choice would be Inos 2.0 if you have access to her as your healer on the Artifact Celestine, which you could take from your selector if you're watching this during the 6th anniversary event. But because that is not a guaranteed option, I've decided to go with Tamarin here and make sure you have her at least level 50, 5 star Woken with plus 7 on the skill 2 and plus 1 on Shining Star. Our damage dealer is once again one of the queens of single target DPS, Commander Lorena absolutely worth your specialty change worth your time getting her to level 60 six star woken having her skill tree maxed out as for the gear that we're using on her just the free destruction and penetration gear that is given out during the sixth anniversary event if you're watching this and the sixth anniversary event has passed feel free to use the attack and critical hit chance sets given to you with the game's adventurer's path as for our last character, I decided to go with Camilla to once again showcase the power of the unit, even though she has a non-attack skill in her actual kit, just using free dash pass gear. Midnight Bloom, just to help with our critical hit chance, you know, for our whole team. It's not necessary. You could play whatever the heck you want here. Daydream Joker, it doesn't really matter. You could substitute Camilla with any damage dealer that you have access to that is not blue. So like Vivian or Sermia. Those will all work fine in this slot. Again, just really want to showcase the power of this character because going forward until later stages, we'll be using something just like this. With that out of the way, let's jump into the fight and show you how it's done. Alright, so to make things a little bit simpler, we're going to work on killing these adds first. Defense buff up for Raz because if you're really slow... These cannons will do a lot of AoE damage. We use S2 on Camilla to give her attack buff. And that will basically double as a Lorena turn. We could freely just use this without burning it, just like we have done in other videos. The first one's basically free. We'll have it back up long before floor two. Alright, so our out. cannons are done now. And now we just walk down the first floor I, boss like we always have. Alright, let's do this. Yeah. I'm scared. Yep. I'll cut your throat. Should we get started? 
the spirit of a commander. Just building up those souls, saving those cooldowns. Let me demonstrate. If I must fight. I will continue my training. Alright, now we're on to this floor. Now there's two ways you can I'll play this. You. you can basically kind of focus Bologna and once the poison sacks get too bad, you can kill the brooms. But for me, I found it simplest to just kill all the brooms first because they're very annoying and they attack with a very high rate of frequency. Son of light. Burn. I... Now we're going to use Shining Star. Watch Bologna on the left here on the combat readiness bar. She jumps immediately to the front. That's why you don't really want to use Zion attack skills if you can help it. See, she cut in front of my Lorena and now my Lorena is in danger. I'm going to burn this. Just to cycle out of my defense break. And now you can see there's going to be a lot of attacks coming out here. And then we'll have Roz kill this broom and you'll see all of the poisons will go away. But also our attack buff is gone now, which means that Lorena doesn't get as much value with Camilla. We could use S2, and again, now Bologna is taking the turn because of that. If we had Inos and a different DPS, we wouldn't have to worry about that. My spear will protect everyone. Should we get started? We can burn here. Take this. I'm ready. I will shine. This will push Bologna to the front alongside of our team. The spirit of a commander. Actually, we'll just go regular spiral breakthrough here. Feel my might in the point of my spear. I'll cut your throat. Let's fight together. If I must. And we burn Roz here on this other one. I'm ready. I'm scared. Yep. I will continue my training. Let me demonstrate. I'll protect all right, and then Soulburn here, this will kill this. And now all that's left is to focus down below. I'm going to use S1. Alright, let's do this. Stay calm and think rationally. My spear will protect everyone. I... I think I will. If I must fight... Right, now, assuming we don't get with another debuff, we should be fine here. We'll be able to cycle out of this. The order of the shield does not back down. Use S3 just for the pushback and the damage. I'm scared. Yep. I'll protect you. Get our defense buff up here. Burn away the evil. I'll cut your throat. Decisions to make here. I think we go for it, because even though it pushes her up, Tamarin can follow behind with a cleanse from idle mode. Now this will revive one of the brooms. We can focus this down. Once again, you can see Bologna just making those huge jumps because of our Tamarin. Wouldn't have that issue with Inus. I will continue my training. I need to see you. This is the And then back to focusing down below. Let me demonstrate. Good defense break here. My spear will protect everyone. I'll protect you. Burn here on Roz. Let's fight together. The spirit. And then we can soul burn here, and that should be game. In the point of my They said pretty easy floor, but as you can see. It gets a little bit more tricky because of the fact that we use characters like Camilla and Tamarin. I recommend experimenting with non-attack skill users if you're still having difficulty, or you could just ask down in the comments below if you need any help. I'd be more than willing to help you out. As always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll see you all in Abyss 97. Later now.